Today I have a special project I'm going to build. I've got uh, two of these Milwaukee portable bandsaws and I'm going to turn one of them into a vertical bandsaw. Yeah, I just got this bracket from uh, swagoffroad.com that it goes into. Then you have to tape the trigger down. I made this uh, on and off switch. I'm also going to make a stand that it goes on. No, I'm not going to buy a stand at Harbor Freight. I want to build a quality American made one myself. I always put uh, casters on everything because I don't have a lot of space here. So I got to be able to move all my stuff around. And these casters that you buy at Home Depot and Lowe's, they never have any grease in the bearings. So I always uh, take one of these uh, needles that you put on the grease gun and grease the bearings good. Yeah, I already made the base to the stand. Now I'll have to go and make the rest of it. Check out the angle iron and stuff here to do that. Yeah, another thing I just noticed is when you put that plate on, you have to take the plate off each time before you can put the, a new blade on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a new blade on it right now before I put the plate on. Okay, and this is what it looks like when the saw is actually mounted into the bracket. And here's the back side. Okay, here's the top piece where the bandsaw is going to mount to. I like to use these magnets with the on and off switch because you can uh, get the metal shavings off of them easier. And the reason I have this sitting on a piece of wood is the garage floor is not perfectly flat. Yeah, I almost have the top piece uh, finished. And I got the top plate finished. This is what the actual uh, saw will mount to. Now you definitely won't find nothing like that at Harbor Freight. And here's the actual, uh, that, that's what that'll mount to. Well, I got the stand almost done. Wished I could move some of this stuff outside because I got no room to work in here. Yeah, it's raining right now outside. Yeah, I got it all done except I have to paint it. I also made this little uh, bracket to help support the saw. And it fits in here uh, like this. So it's not just hanging there. And this piece of pipe that's well to the side of it is going to be for the miter gauge to go when you're not using it. I haven't got the miter gauge or the bracket that goes in these holes right yet. Now all i got to do is just paint it and it's done. Okay, I got it completely finished.